prestigious uh, lectures. When I see at all the, the you know predecessors, you know, so senior, you know, I, I feel really honored, you know, following the steps of Donatella de la Porta, who was my professor at the UI, uh, Simon Hicks, uh, Catherine de Vries, just to mention the last one who gave this this lecture, is uh, you know it's a huge responsibility to be honest, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, what can be wrong when you are talking about one of the greatest political science of all times, right? Uh, I remember when I met uh, Peter, you know, the first uh, time uh, at the European University Institute. I mean, I was waiting for my uh, interview, and I see this, you know, very tall guy with his Einstein hair, you know, uh, <laughs> a type of uh, you know, style. Uh, and, I mean, imagine, you know, I mean, it was like, you know, having Michael Jordan, you know, seeing you play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Using a metaphor that would feel perfectly displaced. I mean, Peter was the high priest of political science, the pontiff of, you know, party politics. I was not even an altar servant at the time. <laughs> and uh, I remember, uh, you know, I was very nervous, uh, more than today, I have to admit. And, uh, you know, uh, the interview was going quite well, right? Until, you know, one of the uh, members of the committee, who was, uh, you know, an IR person, asked me an odd question. An odd question because the answer was obvious to me, right? He was, you know, why do you want to study party systems and not political parties? You know? It was so obvious the question that, you know, I felt paralyzed. I didn't know what to, what to, what to say, right? And Peter realized. And he answered for me, he said, because it's more fun, right? <laughs> so, so, you know, Peter had this, this quality, you know, this, 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 this thing that made everybody feel uh, at ease. I remember in a summer school in, at the UI as well, there was this Romanian student that was always, you know, apologizing for her English. So Peter, you know, who was the director of the summer school, just stopped, and, uh, stopped her and told her, wait a minute, how many people here are native speakers? We were like 22 in the room. Nobody was native speaker except Peter. Peter said, well, if I can understand you properly, you don't have anything to apologize. So, as you can imagine, you know, I could be all day talking about the anecdotes of Peter, right? But, of course, you didn't invite me here to talk, tell jokes and anecdotes about Peter Mann, but to analyze, you know, his work and his contribution, right, to political science and to comparative politics in, in general. So, when 